You already know, it's time for some of the hottest conversations on TV. This is Popkata. Now, today we start in Ghana, where dancehall star Shatawale was arrested for orchestrating a gunshot prank. In Nigeria, people are wondering if Tiwa Savage's sex tape scandal has left a dent in her image. And before we wrap, of course, we'll go international, where American comedian Dave Chappelle continues to feel the heat over his latest comedy special. Unfortunate tragedy stalked the set of a Hollywood film when a prop turned into a deadly weapon. And of course, I do have guests with me. Gabriela is back and Sheu Bankol is here as well. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. We're yes, doing yes, great. I'm fine. I, I like all the African vibe going on. Right. That is <laughs> Gorgeous, ladies. What do you think about this conversation? Oh, I can't, can't wait, wait to dive in, especially the tape. Especially the tape. <laughs> the tape. She, she will talk to you. Talk to mess. <laughs> well, of course, this is podcast, guys. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I know you're ready, and I can't wait. Today we're going to be starting in Ghana. I know we usually start in Nigeria, but this Ghana, Ghanaian story is definitely one we should start with. So musician Shatawale was arrested on Wednesday, like I said earlier, and it was by Ghanaian police for orchestrating a gunshot prank they believed was capable of instilling fear and disturbing the peace of the country. Now the superstar's PA, Nana Dope, was an accomplice in the act, begging fans to pray for the artist while he was supposedly in the emergency ward. Now, but it was later revealed that the whole thing was just a prank. Now, some time ago, a Ghanaian prophet called Stephen Akwasi prophesied that the star would be shot. Now, Shata and his accomplices have been arrested, and a judge said they should remain in police custody for a week. They are due back in court, of course, on October the 26th. Now, his fans are campaigning for his release. I did see a video, of course, we can't play that. It was quite right. a little bit disturbing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Shata was saying, you know, everything, Shata, Shata, <laughs> let him go to jail. You know, he, he said that. You know, what I'm thinking now is, do you think he went too far with this joke? Was it a joke? With this prank. I mean, a prank is supposed to be a joke, right? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it was too extreme. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. are a celebrity. Mm, you yeah. are A-list. I mean, mm. why would you do that just mm. to trend? You are mm. too big. There are some things that are too big for you to do. Especially when you know that there was a prophecy that, mm. that you would be shot like on that, that particular exactly. day. And then you went on to say, I was shot, guys. O'Shea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Really, laughs> Trying mean, to fulfill of prophecy. Of course, I think he went too far. Yeah, and then his PA um, mm -hmm. actually confirming the report. No, that was too far mm -hmm. and too low for someone of his standard. So... No. Now, it's interesting that you guys say that because you're pointing out the fact that there was a prophecy. Now, right. I did see a message on his Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. I, my, I was pointed to that message. And then it was a really lengthy message. But then what he talked about was the fact that why wasn't the police, you know, there to protect him <laughs> when a false prophet came out and said he was going to be shot? Mm. That could have been a message, you know, against his life. Mm. You know, if someone had said, this is going to happen to David Doe on this day, what you want? Actually, do you know about David, this there was a prophecy it? against David Doe sometime. Stop it. Stop <laughs> I'm going to go I there. Just an example. And what did he do? Did he come say, IGP, hmm. come and protect me? No. So, he but, actually came out to say that no weapon fashion against me shall prosper because it feels like nothing is going to happen. Hmm. So you don't, you don't buy the idea that Shata was just doing this to say that, you know what, this... It should prophet. have been a good thing to say, uh -huh. I want to go to the police station to spend the night hmm. on that day. To protect day. himself. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but actually saying but that I don't actually when it wasn't. that pranking people is a way to say, um, is a way to make a statement and be right. like, I could have died. That's too so expensive. <laughs> I yes, mean, what if he died? We won't be saying this right now. So now he's, of course, being charged with spreading false information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is light do you think it should there should be more punishment for this uh, i did hear that of course his lawyer, his i mean lawyer it's, tried ghana, to, it's ghana so it's ghana in nigeria dicey. i don't even know if there's a law like that where you, right. you can spread um wrong or, or I'm, misinformation i'm, I'm not sure there's right. a law but i'm, I'm very sure. sure this is happening because it's a celebrity, it's a celebrity. imagine mm. it was a random exactly. person we take on some police <laughs> i'm mm. not sure huh. but i don't yeah. think i don't think there should be more than that yeah, mm. I mean, it's, it's, let they me can try him, him. They can for this. Yeah. But, if, but if anything, I'm thinking if it's the law, of course, it, it doesn't matter if it's a celebrity or a regular person, mm -hmm. right? The law is the law. Yeah. But if anything, if it's the law, mm -hmm. the celebrity, because of their, you know, status. standard of yeah. their status, yeah. you know, would you know get less of the punishment in any case that that happens? Uh, so why are we saying <laughs> that he deserves more of the punishment? Think about it from the angle that he's a this, this is a show. Exactly. He and is an influencer. And it's easier to punish him or he, forgive him. It's easier ah. to forgive him. Exactly. But if they let him go. Some other persons would start to do this I thing. I think it's so easier think to forgive him, but I also is. think that the gravity of the offense is more yes. because he's a celebrity. So now yes. let's, let's understand it. You have to forgive him, but the gravity of the offense is more. I like that. <laughs> but, but now he, he did apply for bail. His lawyer did. Yeah. And he was not granted bail. Mm. Yes. That's to show that you celebrity, because you're a celebrity, you're not going to be. <laughs> so I really think it makes sense that because the gravity is big, mm -hmm. the, offense, the punishment should be big. 
Hmm. You don't think the, the government is over pushing this? So of course celebrities are, are coming out and saying, you know what, free Shata, we can't yeah. see our own. I mean, yeah, this is Shata who has worked with Beyonce. This is Shata who. <laughs> right? I mean, this, no, it, these accolades expensive. should not, of course, you know, mm. exempt you from you know punishment when it's mm. necessary. When but you're this, big, you're this, big. This is Shata, when you commit a crime, and now people are saying, you know, we can't, we can't afford to see Shata in cuffs. Of course, we saw tan, tons of fans, of course, outside at the court. Yeah, house, yeah they were outside. Know, yeah. And everybody was shouting, you know, free, free Shatta, Shatta, free Shatta. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like for, for the, the purpose of the punishment was mm -hmm. because of, of course, false, you know, and, and in there, and I quote the police statement of, um, you know, peace of the land, you know, hindering the peace of the nation. Let's not lie, if people are protesting and they're shouting free Shatta, there's, there's no peace either. Is that uh, a win, 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 lose? Okay, I like that angle. I like that angle. But really, um, imagine if it was released right now. Mm. The, the peace would be restored to the land. That's to show you how much of it. I don't like the fact that I feel like people are judging Shata. <laughs> Shata I'm, I'm not judging him. I'm judging him. <laughs> I am judging. not. I am not. I'm just saying that that was too much. Yeah, I that mean, was too much. Mm -hmm. But then the presence people, of his fans. People there, obviously just care just about you. That's yes, why that yes, was a big deal. Yes. Because yes. if they didn't care about you, I mean, you just pulled the primary. They look at you. Mm -hmm. So, what, quickly, before I wrap up on this conversation, it's also important to note that, of course, the people who are accomplice, the accomplices, of course, that's his PA, yeah. and as well as the prophet, because that's the angle that I was really <laughs> They're all arrested right now. In fact, apparently. The prophet made this on, made the prophecy on radio. Right. I mean, shouldn't there be laws that prevent prophets from saying such things against someone? I life? think there should be. Really, I'm, I'm, really, I'm going what to try not to. What does the really have to do with this, to be honest? He said he received a prophecy that That's he the was reason going why it happened in the first place. Date. Yeah, and then it happened. Supposedly it happened. Hmm. It did not happen. <laughs> okay, okay. A lot of conversations for you to think about, to talk about with people around you. And yeah, who should be blamed in this situation? Charter, charter, charter. <laughs> <Children, yeah. laughs> We're going to quick break. When we come back, we'll go to Nigeria. Now, T was, I know you're excited. T was excited. the conversation. We'll be right back after this. Thank you so much for staying with us. Well, you're still watching Popcasa. Now, time for that Nigerian conversation you're probably itching to talk about. <laughs> now, Afropop queen Tua Savage has been trending all over social media, in fact, throughout the week, after some members of the public admitted to have seen the singer's leaked sex tape. Now, last week, we told you that Savage herself revealed in a radio interview that she was being blackmailed because of the tape. Now, she seems to have taken the wind out of the sails, you know, of the blackmailer by coming out about it first. Many of her fans say they have boycotted the video and have asked others to not share it either. First question, did any of you guys see the video? Honestly? <laughs> she will answer the question. This video saw me. The video oh. saw you? What does that even mean? I don't know what that even means. I didn't see the video. I did not outrightly set out to see the video. Uh -huh. But video I stumbled came for you? on one or two seconds. Okay, okay. <laughs> did you see the video? No, I did not. Oh, wow. Let me ask you mm. the most important question now. Okay. We're talking about this before for, for a week now. Mm -hmm. And we've gone back and forth between, you know, it's not going to come out, it's not true, it's all for the somebody's son. Mm. Now, I don't know how I feel that we realize that somebody's <laughs> son was not the reason why. <laughs> but now, do you think, you know, coming out and talk about it before the video came out, you know, she won? Do you think that the blackmailer got the of power, course, had the power, I feel, had yeah. the final say or not? Yeah, uh, no, 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 the blackmailer didn't, she lost, you know, the power because mm. she came out first and said, this is going to happen. So mm. the power, like the, the, the power, in fact, the blackmailer could no longer blackmail her. Mm. And that's why mm. we all could see the video. Mm. So, I mean, she obviously won in this case. Mm. She I did. think I agree with okay. that well on this one. She won in the... In <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that Tiwa had not granted her in radio interview mm -hmm. and we were just on our own vibing to somebody's son and mm -hmm. celebrating how and she collaborated wow, with Brandy. And bagam, exactly. we just saw a video of Tiwa Savit. And no. then we're now hungry. She's the but, one. She's not the one. Tell like Let me even tell so you. So I think that interview mm. doused the effect mm. of course. But of course, again, the way blackmail works is they were not going to put the video out immediately. They were going mm -hmm. to use the video as a means to get money, money or from to get her. something. Yeah, they were so, never going to yeah, release really it anytime soon. Out anytime soon. Yeah. At, they wanted to get as much as they can get from her first. But why did they now drop it now? Because she, up, she oh, went first. About it. Mm. Yes, so I talked didn't about make it. Any money so it's like we threatened you. We said we're yeah. going to blackmail you with this video. We're going to release the video. Mm. You've gone out to talk, so it's over. Yeah. Your video so now, let's, let's go back Zero now. profit. During that interview, she said it was a slip up. It was a mistake. You know, it happened you know, both the videoing and then the posting, all a mistake. What do you guys think about that now? Ah, uh, now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so like I said, you know, I saw the video. I saw, I saw a few seconds on the video. Gabriel did not. So I think <laughs> I have every right Are you sure? Did you say she did it? Yes, I did. I okay. said I did not. Um, I think that um, she... Um, when I saw the video, it mm -hmm. did not look like something she was aware of. Mm. Oh, okay. 
she probably did not know that it was it was Being recording. King, King. And then she now eventually found out after the act, oh, there's a okay. video of us. You are my partner. I mean, they probably have that exclusivity that they can share stuff like that. But I do not think that that guy posted it on Snapchat mistakenly. Wow. Have you ever tried posting a video on Snapchat? No, I don't. It takes a few clicks Snapchat. to do that. It you does? don't do that kind of thing mistakenly. Hey. Snapchat will ask you, do you want to post Talking. eyes only <laughs> or public? And he posted it publicly. Mm -hmm. You know, deleted it. Million. No. You and the fact that why is even supporting this guy. That, I was about to say that. So my, we were talking about this, and you're talking about mm. you know, the relationship between her and this partner. Mm -hmm. That is undisclosed. We have no idea who this partner is. Mm -hmm. But there seems to be, you know, some... Okay, some people know, though, but... Some people right do. Some people right on. She yeah. have tea that we need. <laughs> Share with NC Trend. I saw you. You know me now. I'm going to give you anything that is trendy. But I saw you blog, blog post that the picture of the guy. Mm. Yeah, they disclosed it. A legend. Identity. Mm. Uh, well, mm, a legend. Uh -huh. But they didn't write his name. Okay. Like, this is the somebody's son in this sex thing. Okay. Wow. Let's, I, I want to ask go quickly, right, in this conversation. So we talked about if she, if she won in this situation. But right. then, if, if she really won, based on what Gabby said... Has it affected her image in any way negatively? Then? <gasps> I, I mean, because so. I can't, I can't I think think so. I think well. Because I, 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 want, <laughs> I want to be honest that we're mm. in the sexist world, in my opinion, because mm. yeah. if it was a man in that situation, it would be less. But now it's a woman. Yeah. They're like, women shouldn't be and in this place. And so, so, so. It was not just stop. about saying there's a tape, guys. Wow. It was about the okay. tape now come out mm. to social media. I think it would have her brand. However, however, because Tuwa Savid is A-list, mm -hmm. and then she has a lot of um, international collaborations, I think she would eventually come out of it. But currently, okay. I think it would have So um, there's also news that she already lost um, some endorsements because of this. So. Remember how there was rumor that um, Pepsi dropped her as an mm. ambassador after her divorce rumor? Though uh, Pepsi came out to say they didn't know, but I'm very sure it would definitely affect her brand. Yes, it would have some. But give her a few months, she would drop one hit down. Bang, 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 bang. Everybody back of there. You, know, you know, so my big, my big, my big, well, not question, my big speech or motive here okay. mm. social media never forgets right. so we're, we're saying she drops a big hit mm. what happens five years from now we'll what happens forget. when jamal jamil jamil jam. jamil mm. is yeah. jam jam is all grown up jam, jam. What, what happens then mm. Mm. i think um internet never forgets this video will be there forever Definitely, definitely. <laughs> this is how we wrap up this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to add? But I love to ask Savage. Yes, exactly. However, I, I mean, I think that's, that's, that's one of the reasons so why I love people. We're now coming out to say we stand with you, Quincy. If you misbehave, you should get a good Yes, I mean, it's it's not okay to do that. I, I it's do, not okay to do, do that. It's not okay to do anyone, that, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope that for anyone out there, of course, that you realize that social media isn't just social media and you know there are consequences because we never forget if I see it. Well, we can't unsee it, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, this is a wrap-up of Nigerian Conversation. We're going to another break. When we come back, we have two international stories, and Gabby will be taking them for you. We'll be right back after this. You're welcome back. This is Popcaster on New Central. I'll be having a very... Um, in Interesting conversations here, but now we're moving to conversation on the international scene. Now, about 100 Netflix employees, transgender activists, and supporters have staged a series of protests around the streaming platform's Los Angeles office against its refusal to pull down Dave Chappelle. Um, transphobic jokes, he has made transphobic jokes um, in a stand up comedy show. Now, the stand up comedian joked about the tra transgender people saying that gender is a fact and that LGBT people are too sensitive. Amidst the protest, Chappelle has said, and I quote, This is what being, if this is what being cancelled is about, I love it. Now, the question is, are people being too sensitive? Isn't the place of comedy sometimes supposed to push the envelope? Mm. Are you going to go? go? Yes, please. To, to, be, to be honest, I personally, personally, I'm not big on comedy in okay. general. Okay. And then I think it's cheap. It's, quote me, I think it's cheap, it's lousy when your idea of comedy is insulting someone. Hmm. You know, it's, 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 it's like stating the obvious. You see uh, a little person in the audience and then the person just point it out and make jokes about it. Or I rem remember in Nigeria, though, some, sometimes this guy made a joke about Tokes behind and mm. there was an entire... I, I just, to be honest, not by the idea behind. I mean, be creative. Talk about your story. Let's laugh at you. Mm. Since you you have so many jokes, <laughs> okay. let's laugh about your your All childhood, right. your family, and okay. stuff, and not other people's. Do you have something different to say, Yes, please. Um, mm. Personally, me, I, I I'm not even a fan of LGBT people. Why? Uh, <laughs> personally, that's why I said personally. Okay, so, so um, I think um, it was too extreme. Just too the extreme way some that. Nigerian comedians, even outside Nigeria, they joke about the Bible, joke about God, mm. and people tell them that is too extreme. So mm. I agree that this was too extreme. Joke about something, and there's a lot of topics to make comedy out of. 
LGBT people will always come for you, and you are going to have a Z. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I was going to ask you, obviously, um, so should some things be off limits, but the answers that you've given, of course, are yeah, very yeah, clearly yeah. stated that. Mm -hmm. So now, is it harder to express ourselves these days with the cancel culture? One wrong statement and... <laughs> I'm a cancel I am Even one old tweet, they've canceled you. I'm going to burn your brand. I, mean, I, mean, I, I, I don't bite the idea, though. I mean... From a personal, I, I just think that you know people should be more forgiving, more understanding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because though. sometimes we don't, we know that we should hold celebrities to a setting, yeah, mm -hmm. because, because they should be more mature. Mm -hmm. You know, people are listening to them and all that. But then we're human beings too, mm -hmm. so it depends. A lot of people just call you out completely, and then suddenly you are blacklisted. Everybody hates you. And then you realize that the person is actually a human being too, you know, exactly. and might be going through a hard time. I mean, yeah, I'm going to agree course. with Sam on this one. Mm -hmm. I do not like the fact that people are quick to cancel, and when they cancel you, they don't want to get anything from you at all. Anything people make else. mistakes. We are all human hmm. beings. The fact that they are, they are celebrities does not mean that they are perfect human mm -hmm. beings. So when a celebrity makes a mistake, forgive them. Thank forgive you. them. Mm -hmm. Depends on the person that you Yeah, before. and you should, of course, call them out, but forgive them. Tell okay. them to do better. I'll so now, you. this is the question. Do you guys think that Netflix is going to bow to this pressure? Um... Uh, I think so. <laughs> do, they, do they want I us to all subscribe? I'm, I'm yeah. I think so. I mean, yeah. so I think a particular I, community saying, no, mm -hmm. this is what we want. They made some certain demands you know, based on this. You know what I think? I think they can, they can buy their way around it. Yeah. My point being, I, what's wrong with editing that particular joke, mm -hmm. that sentence, that line? It doesn't, people still get to enjoy the Dave Chappelle. And then, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we forgive that because yes, now it's absolutely, gone. Absolutely, I agree. Netflix, you know, you... Mm -hmm. you Pay both people. Yeah, Netflix Period. is going to bow to the people. You listening, Netflix? Yeah. If you don't bow, we are going to delete the app. We are going to delete the app. It's a lie. We are not going to subscribe. I completely agree with you guys. Um, so um, now we're moving to another story where, according to a U.S. law enforcement um, agency, American actor Alec Baldwin fired a prop gun that killed a cinematographer and wounded the director on a hmm. film set in New Mexico. Now, the incident took place on the set and um, where Baldwin was playing the lead in a 19th century western about an accidental killing. There is mm -hmm. industry protocol for weapons on set. Only blanks are allowed on set. There is also a minimum safety distance of about 20 feet in front of the muzzle because with a blank there should be nothing in front of it when filming is occurring with firearms. The weapons should also be inspected before and after each scene. And there should be a safety briefing as part of the protocol. So, I mean, this is really such a, a big tragedy. To <laughs> when I honest. saw this like, story, it's, I'm it's, like, ow! It's a big tragedy. I really don't understand it. But the big question now is this. How does a prop end up killing someone? And injuring someone else. Yes. You know, I mean, you know, it's 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 so important that you you mention all of those things. You literally gave us a school yes. on how it should be done. Yes. Of course. Uh, so if if perhaps there was a, a real bullet in the gun, the distance that you gave already, you know, the fact mm -hmm. that there shouldn't be anyone in front of that person, you, yeah. the fact that there should be a certain you know measurement distance yeah. between you people, mm -hmm. a lot of these things are already procedures that should be in place. Mm -hmm. So now that we're asking, how is it possible? I <laughs> guess Hollywood just. Didn't do it right this time. Mm. I'm telling you. Because I mean, I mean, we've seen so many successful films. Exactly. We've seen yeah. John Wick that is so hard to watch yes. because they have so much we've shooting. We've seen so many stunts that have had to go wrong here. Seen James Nobody. Bond. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, so this is very hard to understand. I think it's yeah. one, one, sm not small. I don't know how to put it. One silly big mistake. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is someone's life, and, and there are so laws and rules to this life. thing. Someone said, I saw a comment on the Nigerian anyway. Mm. He said, oh, thank God, though, that's a Nigerian film. They can never make this kind of mistake because toy gun <laughs> to be rescued, they will never be used to I'm gun. telling you. And so now we know that the investigations are ongoing mm. as um, regarding this case, uh, but do you think that Baldwin should be charged? Uh, of course mm. not. I, I personally do what? I know. I, I can I can't. When he gets to court, we never can tell. We never can, can already tell how imagine this case is going the to go on pain. Again. He's How the going, misery. The fact that it was an accident. I killed someone. Oh my goodness. I've never and killed someone before, and then I killed someone on set on of a set. movie. I mean, if you, if you look at the pictures, you could see that, you know, he, Whoa. Was, he was clearly distraught. You know, he yeah. was he was cut aback. This is someone who's been acting for a while, and here that oh I, I, I killed goodness. someone. I can imagine the shock you need to come mm -hmm. out of. So for them to charge I don't him, think I, that would be double. <laughs> based, on, based on what? Nah. Based was on he planned? Based on accident. And the person that died also, was it planned?
That is not there should be compensations like when police yeah. kill someone I really like this think thing, he's recharged it. Yeah. Stop it. I really mm. think you should. So we don't know how this case is going to go eventually, so but we're I mean, up, we're definitely <laughs> hoping for the best, and <laughs> we hope that tragedies like this don't ever so keep happening so again. My heart just goes out to the family. Yeah. Right? Definitely, our condolences to them. Mm. And so, um, thank you very much, Shane Bankole. This should be the Shame part where we wrap up the conversation. Do yeah, we wrap yeah, up the yeah. conversation at this point. I think we did. Anything you want to add? I think we pretty much did. Yeah, we did. We did. My heart is just going to see what's happening. But I really think that she should come out because she's not doing somebody's son's challenge as if nothing is happening. Mm -hmm. Auntie, come out and say that you're sorry that your tape went out. Why? Ah. Is she apologizing? I don't know about that. She because she's a role model. <laughs> I don't know about that, Super but thanks. thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank Shane. you for having me. Thank you, Sam Dandy. And of course, thank you to our viewers. Don't forget, my name is Gabrielle, and this is Popcasa. We'll be back again with another episode next week. Keep watching News Central. Bye-bye. <laughs>